Okay, so before I get started, a little PSA, parental guidance, whatever you want to call it. Um, not good at all this video making stuff. I ain't got a clue how to edit, yada yada, all that. Have to excuse this. I need to straighten. Hadn't done that today. Been fishing. Uh, I was going to do a small review on my Sportsman PDL 106 I just bought. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to show you a little something. Uh, first off, I like it because, I don't know if this will work. Really simple. Huh. <laughs> It fits, and I don't think it's over the length where I have to put a flag on it, but it fits in the truck. It's easy to get in and out, and uh, we'll do that right now. So, it is a little heavy with all the gear in there, a little lighter with it empty, but uh, see how this works. And Like I said, you have to excuse the video because this is on a cell phone, and... I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, so we'll see. Drag her on in. Get right here. I got concrete in my shop, so I'm not going to drag it across the concrete. So we're going to pick her up. Okay, so I got her out the truck. She is a little heavy to roll on her side and pick up like that. Kind of kills me just a little bit. Uh, I'll spin this around so I can show you. This is the paddle that I bought. Shoot. It is... Shaft diameter 114, weighs 40.6 ounces. Blade size 18.36, 6.7. So, this works for me as far as the length. And I forget what the length is. I'll have to figure that out and let you know. 49.99. Bought this at the same place I bought my kayak at. Uh, which was Dick Sporting Goods. Um, these things, absolutely useless. They don't keep any water off. They don't keep any water from getting on you, in you, wherever. Um, 
there's your rudder control it's really versatile works really well used the tensioner a few times i like that um got your back compartment back here i don't know what you would put in that but i've tried putting a couple of things in just not really worth it honestly i don't even know why they put that there scuffer plugs in the back i just used some old ping pong balls shoved them in the hole they work real well um the rudder is really good turning left and i don't know if maybe i need to adjust these cables or something but turning right it kind of sways whenever it turns right it don't exactly turn uh, don't have any here need to get four more i guess i could put ping pong balls in there as well um and one other thing i don't like or one thing i don't like about it is the seat it's on a rail system your back pieces go here the front shaft goes there it doesn't like having any risers the 120 has different seating positions but it's god awful more than what i wanted to pay so i didn't buy it um i've seen a few videos where these little deals right here these little i don't know what you'd call them actually they're like supposed to be rod holders rod goes in there and then it comes out right here out of the shaft up front um a lot of people say they don't like them don't use them but where i fish there's a lot of cypress trees so when you use the back little holes right here my rods stick up way 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 too far especially if i've got them stuck together they break down in the center which is a good thing but even when they're broke down they stick up way too far so i just grabbed it this afternoon and stuck it underneath my feet um this here is where your pedal drive goes in i've noticed the two times that i've had it in the water when that is up like it's supposed to be when you're putting in this whole area right here just floods with water i guess because i weigh so much <laughs> but once you put your pedal drive in you lock it down the water pretty much runs out of these scupper holes pretty easy so i mean you know it, it it does take on a little bit of water but it it lines itself back out relatively fast the whole pedal drive uh, i'll do a separate video on that i guess because i'm pretty sure this one's way too long uh the rails i like the rails i did not mount my uh fish finder depth finder whatever you call it on the rails on the budget so yes unfortunately i drilled a hole i know didn't want to y'all are probably gonna kill me for it but i didn't this your front compartment it's pretty wide in here you got a lot of good room and everything i got my tie off rope i just keep and i just have a little deal here that uh i run up through there and clip it to it i, I used it twice today it works really well that right there is where your my cables came in okay well let's start that over your transducer mount up front i had to twist the bracket around or whatever to get it to do it still seems to kind of want to hit the ground i'm still really nervous about it where it's placed but that's the best i could do for now it's if you can see it's above where your drag plate is in the front and everything but i still kind of worry about it possibly getting damaged or whatever but you're supposed to run it up through this hole in the front. It's in front of where your PDL drive goes. And why they don't have an extra hole here, I don't know. They may want to change that in the future, but I drilled a hole and stuck a little plug in it. I've got to get some different plugs to make it completely waterproof. But you're supposed to, I guess, kind of run it down here and run it wherever you want. But I just feel that that's going to get in the way. So I drilled a hole. That's where they come out. And my excess is laying right there and I ran it back over through here and ran it up this hole here And I've got to work on my batteries. I'll do something later on that But uh, when they tell you It's one hand. It's one hand. So is the back Unless you've got stuff on it. There's your vent hole up front You're supposed to open that and you're supposed to flip it on its top To make sure it drains properly yada yada and all that 
storage back here. Love the storage. I had an ice chest. I had my fishing, my tackle box. All that good stuff in there. And still had a little bit of room. Not a whole, whole lot. I do a lot of crappie fishing. I don't do a lot of bass fishing. No pun intended towards anybody. But, um, I mean, yeah, all in all, the little uh, handle here. Let me flip. The handle here, this goes to your... I forget what this is called. A little steer flap. I'm just one I'm gonna call it. Sorry. It works really well. It's really easy to control. Didn't really get in the way today. Um, you just flip it, turn it, turn it, to put it down, turn it to put it up. That was real easy. Um, I transport it like that. Um, cup holder. Y'all could have done, done a little better on the cup holder. If you've got small drinks like cans, 20 ounce bottles, stuff like that, it's going to flop. But, I mean, it's it's not that bad. So, I mean, yeah, all in all, the little pockets up front, I really like those. You don't want to put baits in them, though, because I guarantee you can't get them back out. But, I mean, you know, I'd change the seat, maybe. And, um... Maybe take out that little center compartment right here, you know, for me. Um, but I'll make another video on some other stuff, like the seat and things of that nature. So, yeah, so if you like it, let me know. Um, first video I'll be ever be posting to YouTube. So, if you like it, like it, subscribe, whatever. Y'all know what to do. So, just let me know. Appreciate it.